We had posed a question, what's the most influential skate video of all time? And I think that there are those inf- there are videos that were influential, that changed skateboarding, yeah. right? At those times, At yeah. those pro- points in time. Yeah. But I also do think that there is a bit of, you know, era-based to it, you know? Like, yeah. different people have different opinions of what videos that would be For that sure. changed the game. Well, know? still, some videos still hold up to this day. You yes. know what I mean? Like, where, like, the trickster, like, wow, I can't believe that shit really went down even back then. Definitely. Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, it's all subjective, obviously. And like, I feel like most people choose it on what shaped them and their community around them. In well, some of these right? videos that we were bringing up, they've come out like 33, 35 years ago. And it's all yeah. time based, though. It's because a newer kid isn't going to say, like, oh, yeah, um, fully flared changed the game because he's not, they're not going to know. Right. That they didn't live through that the point. Game. They didn't yeah. live. The, you know, their new yeah. skaters are really good, but they're they're focused on what they're what, what they were the seeing current at that time. Shit is, yeah, right. For sure. Just but like I, I don't really know about animal shit. Like I know I've seen it, but yeah. I wasn't there. I wasn't living through it. I didn't, and I know that that changed the game, but I wasn't. I didn't experience it. Right. So it is time based. It I is. Think, I mean, for, that was for definitely for me. Like one of the first videos that I saw, I was like, whoa, like this. This is crazy. It, it opened up my mind in a sense of like, not only it was a skateboarding, it was like a, there was a story to it and they were f- having fun with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that was a whole, I think it was at a that movie. time it was a whole different thing and it was, yeah, it's light, lightweight movie. Yeah, for sure. But a lot of people weighed in on like what was their favorite, uh, favorite, but also slash like what they think changed the game. Like Greg Carroll, first of all, been in the industry for a long time, did a lot of stuff out there yeah, on Instagram. He put Skateboard Madness, Back to the Future, Hocus Pocus, Video Days, Future Primitive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he had a, a couple of them there. Paul again, Zitz, based on generation. Like, that's what he felt. Those were his yeah, shit. I sure. do agree, Video Days, but then it, but then also it's questionable. Plan B is questionable. That yeah. when things, like, really started to change a little bit. And just the structure of how video parts are being put together and just... Yeah, that was a really a, a, a change in the game moment for me for me as well. Well, because you look at video days, and then you look at the the in that same year, if not a year later, it's questionable. Mm-hmm. Completely different style of skateboarding. Completely different. You're like, what the hell is going on? Yeah. What happened in that last year, half a year? Yeah. And it was like somewhat of the same dudes you watched before. Yeah. Right. Like it was the same cast almost. Maybe a couple off and on, whatever. Yeah. But I didn't live through that point, so I must have been wild to watch that happen and it's like you're it's kind of like back then you were watching things in slow motion if that makes sense or maybe fast motion fast motion yeah yeah, everything was happening super fast but like you would see things (coughs) once you'd rarely see something every year Mm -hmm. well how many videos came out back then that were like no it was like a a moment when a video came out like that was like whoa did you see video days oh my god and you were watching that for for a long ass time time. that's what i mean like yeah yeah until the next video came out all day yeah for sure and I think that's why more videos back then changed the game because they were so now. rare. Because they were so rare. Yeah. Yeah, and you just held on to them for a little bit longer than you do videos nowadays. There's yeah. only one way you can get them was VHS. Yeah. You couldn't. You couldn't even. The internet did not exist. Totally. Which there, is nuts to think about. And there was a lot. There was a lot of people that had Hocus Pocus on their list. Clyde Singleton even said Hocus Pocus influenced a lot of old pros to get new jobs, which is yeah, pretty funny. For sure. Um, and it, Skater Fool Caden on our YouTube. Oh no, this is Instagram. Said uh, the search for Animal Chin. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people there. Alex White. Shout out to Alex White. Uh, she said, "Welcome to hell." Yes. Great welcome video. to hell. Great a lot video, of people man. said, "Welcome to hell." Up. That was. I was. Man, that that first year of my skateboarding, when it was like, yeah, ninety five, mostly ninety six, is when I got really involved Mm -hmm. in like following skating. Man, the tricks, the style, and the music just opened up, dude. I I saw. Have you seen that photo of me? If you look at my Instagram, on my whatever, on my story, I posted a little photo of me when I was in like fifth grade. I did see it, dude. Imagine that little kid just being from Laguna Hills, not knowing anything, and then just opening up these Welcome to Hell, Mouse Trilogy, and just. Seeing this, I never saw anything At like fifth, in fifth grade. In fifth and sixth grade, right. I wasn't in sixth grade when that came out. But like, I just, I, for me, I, I influenced not just skateboard, but it influenced my life, like yeah. a whole different direction. I was playing sports like crazy and listening to whatever's on the radio. To that's my only access was listening was on the radio mm-hmm. to like seeking out new things. To like hearing new music, yeah. finding clothes, finding <clears throat> shoes that I wanted that someone yeah. else wore. Um, that's super dope. Yeah, but. 
That's yeah. Welcome to Hell was one of those videos. Yeah, welcome to Hell. Even Josh uh, on our YouTube, Josh uh, Romero eighty seven said, "Welcome to Hell, Toy Machine." The intro with Power of Lard was amazing, and Mike Maldonado's East Coast Powerhouse Ooh, yes. when he came out uh, to London Dungeons was amazing moment in skateboarding videography. And then JB Townsend and a nine five. 3.5 also commented below that which he's completely correct on this he said plus it features young Chris Roberts in the friend section doing a heel <laughs> flip and then Nolly Knows Blunt Baby definitely the definitely most definitely did not say influential he did <laughs> he come on he bro. commented under that he commented under 100%. that 100% yeah, 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 he's yeah. adding to the conversation J.B. Townsend he, they, definitely the most influential and impactful in his world you know what I'm saying? You had the last. You had the last trick in that section, which is. I started it off. No, wait, no. Oh no, 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 no. It was the last. It was That's a. Who, was it the last? Or no, it was close to. No, no, it wasn't the last. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, say. I, that didn't it was realize like, that. I don't remember. What actually. was the last trick in that? Section? Second to last, third to last. There's a. That was a good friend section. It was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Penny the best. has to keep him over the rail, uh, and then uh. <laughs> Is this the friend section? Please play it, dude. We're gonna find where for where's my clip here? Hold on. Is this it? JC. It is the talk friend to me. section. Okay. Hold on. So let's look at it. I'm about to get demonetized real quick. Why? Because the song. Oh, you're not gonna play oh, the song. Yeah, yeah. Don't play what the was the song? Uh what's it I don't called? Remember. Uh why well, am I tripping? <clears throat> I don't know. It wasn't the Beatles or anything. No, right? but it was, you'll you'll hear it and be like, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, here it is. Don't you want somebody to love the what? What's it called? Uh, there it is. There. Oh, there it is. Heel flip. Ooh. Look, that's in, that's on oh, Main that's right Street, here. baby. Yeah, that's yeah, right, yeah. right down the street. Knows my, bam! Tim Dowling filmed that. Shout out to Tim Dowling. He is officially off yeah. Instagram. Jefferson Airplane. Look at that. I can't believe that I'm in this video. You I wouldn't it. even... You know who... It's so it. funny, though, that... I mean... The person that put me in that video is Donnie Barley. That's crazy to me. Like looking back at all this shit, I wasn't tripping on the shit back then. Mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, what? At? Like, you know what I mean? I was just doing my thing. We were skating with Donnie Barley. We were skating with Eric Dressen. We were skating with the, and then all of a sudden I'm in this video. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, um, it's awesome. So but, he said, let me get your, let me get, let me get. Yeah, he said, I want to put you, yeah, we've got to put you in the friend section. Amazing. Yeah. I love that we're talking about this video right now. We're talk, only talking about your trick. Because this is the most, <laughs> we're talking about the most influential Dude, videos in of all oh, time, and I was in that video. Well, when I saw that video, I did not know that was you. That's right. I was like, that's who's right. that dude? Because they didn't put the name. <laughs> yeah, but you, and that's why I, dude, Sapa's part in that video was super sick. Yeah. Uh, dude, yeah, Maldonado. Mm -hmm. uh, Maldonado, dude. Damn, dude, Alyssa Steamer. There's a lot Barley. of, a lot of people said welcome to hell. There was yeah. a lot of welcome to hells on there. Halfway Crooks on uh, Instagram said welcome to hell. David and Mc, well, McLimon said welcome to hell. Yeah. It was the starting of zero for, for the most part. Right. Like obviously like uh, Jamie has last part, but that's when I want to say skateboarding started taking that turn for the gnarly yeah. shit going on. For sure. Like obviously it was progressing, but then it came Jamie Thomas. You're like, oh my fucking God. No doubt. Ed Templeton parts good. It's interesting, too, because a lot of people were saying that we were talking about questionable. A lot of people were saying questionable, but a lot of people were saying virtual reality. OG Skate Show said for him, it was virtual reality that changed the game. I mean, it was just a year's yeah. span. But they, they, they definitely like evolved in that year. But I'm wondering, I think it was questionable mm -hmm. that it was influential mm -hmm. more than virtual reality because mm -hmm. virtual reality was you could see what was coming when virtual came i mean uh questionable came out mm -hmm. you're like oh we're going in another direction oh, here, okay you yeah. know and then and virtual reality came out and you're right. like damn they hit us over the head with this right. but questionable was like the it split two periods yeah. of time mm -hmm. you For know sure. yeah and two styles of skateboards and uh, everything for sure and just all that talent on that team you know, at that time too, it was a uh, it tricks just was back to back up. like all the parts. You're just like, damn. You know, you have all the mm. bro. It was it, it didn't was, stop. No, and and I that's why I think yeah, right mm -hmm. is in the category. I think every Bones every Brigade video show, huh? Bones Brigade video show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we do. I the, mean, we're for, just talking about stuff that people were. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. To go before yeah, right. I personally think that like Mouse trilogy and photosynthesis like. 
I think those are so influential that people are dressing like that now still right you know what i mean yes. like the actual style tiago's <laughs> prime example yeah and like all all the the kids like that ride for dc that but are that's so coming sick. back around yeah yeah that but like back. but like it's it influenced it was it was just wild to see skateboarding start, it started to get like cleaner mm. but also more progressive well mm -hmm. if you're talking and, about influential as well i mean the baker videos oh I'll talk oh, about yeah. talk about influential oh, talk yeah. about people dressing like them oh yeah. like overnight that, that mm -hmm. changed overnight overnight you're like yeah. paul you're dressed great not paul Rudd, but just a, no one of your homies you're, you're like, exactly how would you try yeah they're like, yesterday just, you I were just watched wait. the video bro i'm i'm, I'm this now yesterday you were <laughs> you were, like were rocking a, a menace t-shirt yesterday. <laughs> yeah like, what's going on here like <laughs> yeah damn when did no. that first uh beggar video come out 2000 2000 am i tripping 2001 ish 2001 okay to me it's 2001 i was like a freshman i or around a freshman in high school i think damn they got 23 years 24 years well in here. baker like, bootleg yeah. came out 1998 yeah, yeah, but that I was said, that didn't change it. That didn't yeah. change it though. I know. I'm just yeah. saying that that was that's a so Baker it, bootleg. Yeah, that it got the engine started. Yeah, yeah. It got them 100%. started to go in their direction. Yeah, and then a Baker 2G is when it like really popped off. Uh, zero videos, Mister Youth, like those. Mister Youth was funny, man, because they're like the same style but different. Mm. If the, it, it, yeah. I don't know, like they're a little. Like, zero zero was, was more epic. Yeah, it like was those more videos serious. with the with the with the with the songs and the editing yeah, and the, the sure. thing, you know, and the, yeah. uh, Jamie Thomas at the helm of it, it was more epic. It was more serious and epic. Like yeah. it was those two. Like it, yeah, the camera cuts all crazy. Yeah. The music all edited together. Yeah. Hammers, hammers, hammers. Mm -hmm. I would say that Baker had a loose style of that, but more personality. Yeah, yeah, like 100%. showing more of like they're the, showcasing the piss bit. drunks. Yeah. Well, they had their own did they, image. That did they, they have boards out in '99? Or boards came out in two thousand, like when that video. I came think out. when the when the video kind of dropped is when they Baker started. 2G. Baker two G. Yeah. When they started. That's when I, like boards started I, I believe. Okay, so. so that's what I wanted to know. So that's yeah, they, they, around that time, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, Dude, photosynthesis yeah. for me that was photosynthesis, photosynthesis is a great is, video. I mean, I don't Good. really see. I saw a lot of Menic Mad Menic Madis in there too. Yeah, I mean that was that was with filmmaking and tricks. And right. a, like a, in a highlighted all star crew mm -hmm. of like doing the hardest tricks, you know, arguably the hardest tricks in skating, you know what I mean? Like, you all looked at that video Especially Everyone, at that time. Yeah. Sure. You could be on any team, you'd be like, whoa. Or you could be a kid looking at skating like that. Those are the gnarliest dudes. Yeah. And same with the Flip Sorry video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have... What about Blind Video Days? We yeah, talked, we were just talking about Blind Video yeah. Days. Yeah. I think that was, I mean, that was before my time, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. So Someone well, in here said that there's a piece of every video that is definitely worth a journey. You know what I mean? Like, you, there's a journey in those videos. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree to a certain degree. Um, where was it? Every single one for every different reason. That's the one. Patrick Just because there's Gleason. like, every video has something to, to give. To a degree, you know what I mean. There's not nothing that people have put out and like it's not worthy. But obviously, there's some that just rise to the top, and those are the ones we're speaking on. But right. again, there's a there's a lot of videos that are worthy of just being a video and having showcase all these great skaters as well. I think it's interesting because again, like I can use the Union Wheels video as an example yeah, of that yeah, because exactly. I liked that Union Wheels video. I loved Alfonso Rawls' part, exactly. the music, the dreaminess of it, the, just the Alfonso Rawls was the like the sickest. It was so dope. Mm -hmm. Eric Costa had a part in there. I like Alfonso Rawls' part better, but it's not an influential video mm -hmm. by any means, you know what I mean? But it was for, for you. me, yeah, yeah. For, you. for me, yeah. 100%. That's what and that's what a lot of these people are you know, yeah, resonating totally. You know, but you can, I don't. I think we need to. It's more of like what, like Kelly said with the trans world videos. Like, oh yeah, people were actually like changing the way. Like that influenced people, right? right? Like, so Chris Granier put. Uh, uh, shout out to Chris Granier. He he put uh, modus operandi, and I was yeah. like, for me personally, yeah, that like, the, it was a. It wasn't just a skate team, mm -hmm. and it wasn't like a company. It was just like a crew of dudes that were. I can say those were all stars, totally, dude. And the music Trans in there, Trans World yeah. video, Ty Evans Great. with the filming, Great videos. That that time right Phenomenal there, that's video. like, yeah, French Fred and uh, Ty. 
Yeah. I would say those two. And you can put John Holland in that mix because he's always in that, like making those videos too. Mm -hmm. Those Definitely. guys changed the game I, the film wise. I time. think I think French Fred and Ty are a hundred percent at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent of, of, of influential videos they have underneath their belt. Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. Fully flared. Fully flared. It's Jeez. crazy. That was one that I didn't see pop up as much on the Instagram, but yeah. maybe because there were so many. Shout out to everyone that was commenting on it. There were so many damn comments, but which is crazy. Fully flared, me. literally changed the landscape of what go, what was going on in skateboarding. Totally. What year was that? Two thousand eight, seven or eight, seven, eight? something like that. We'll we're, find out. We're like two thousand seven. Yeah, that, that two thousand seven. Yeah. Ledge dancing kind of came back down. And like this, you're like, what is going on, man? But it was good. Right. It was just you saw like Baker did, you know. And then like photo, I'll go back to photo. Like you saw back nose grand pop outs and started seeing all these certain tricks that people were doing because mm -hmm. tricks that were done in these videos. Well, not to mention too, it's like you know at that point in time, fully flared. There was big hype behind it. Big hype. There was a timer going on on the website. Oh, there yeah. was th it was like there was a lot of people yeah. anticipating the timer this video. Up, Plus, you had Ty up. Evans that was working these skaters nonstop. You know, people have sat here tell stories about the the tour, the the, the tours, and the van trips. And yeah. I mean, it was like a it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was tough on a lot of people. But Ty was getting the best out of these people too. Yeah. You know, so Ty was putting his blood, sweat, and tears into it. So okay. I don't know. There was a lot. I think, I think fully flared is up at the top of that list for sure yeah. of influential videos of all time. Mm -hmm. I feel like skateboarders now that they're trained, Definitely. like they're, it's a different style of athlete of a skateboarder now. People are training, yeah. they're waking up early, they're going doing this. Like back then skaters that, that, that fully flared time, they weren't doing that. They to were, a degree, there yeah, were certain individuals There were that people were, that, Carol, yeah. Carol was doing yoga. But like I'm saying like, you could do a video now and that would be somewhat normal. Hey, we're getting the van at night, yes, we're fucking doing this, sure. blah, blah, blah. Sure. Like back then I think it was like a, whoa, I don't, this, usually we just go skate whenever we want. Right. You know, so then it became like a schedule. Everything's more thought out too. Dudes are looking at spots, like people are sending them spots, like damn, I could probably do this here. Like more like mm. calculated, yeah. you know what I mean? And like That's planning like out their shit. Away. That was, but people never did that way no, back, I right? Mean, it was very selective if they did. Yeah, it, yeah. it was being done, but it's not as how it is now. I'm talking about like like 30 years 30 ago. years now, we're just yeah. going, it's spontaneous shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Like, yeah. We'll go to a spot and whatever we get, we get. There were some funny ones on here too though. It's like uh, Tim VC, nineteen eighty six at Police Academy Four. Yes, That's that popped amazing. up. A, that it. popped up a lot. And Back to the Future popped Epically up. Epically Latered was a free, he he put him Back to the Future. That there was, was that came up a lot. I was like, wow, Back to the Future uh, was impactful like that. Okay, but like, but it was though. Okay, it so, wasn't a skate video, but man, a, how many people started skateboarding because of that fucking movie? The hoverboard. I was one of them. Yeah. No, he had no, the he, uh, yeah, Volterra. Yeah, he did. He did. He had he the did. Volterra. He was skating yeah. behind the cars and everything. That sure. was huge for me. No doubt. Even though I don't really consider it that big of a thing for me. But it's like getting in front of a lot of people's me, faces, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because we all like skateboarding, and you see it in, in that type of environment in a big movie like that. Just like with Police Academy for when i saw those dudes for that it's, it's probably like a minute long maybe two minutes it maybe it's longer than that but regardless there was like the bones brigade team was out there and they just had like a segment in police academy four yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. mind blown wearing jordans they were wearing the ones bro lance mountain <laughs> all them shout out to them bro they seriously that was a, a, a moment that i've definitely remembered to this day yeah it was a but those movies when you're a kid what what year did police academy for, no, no, excuse me. What year did Back to the Future come out, JC? I just want to know. That was 84. Is it 84? Because I didn't. 85. I was born in 84. Jesus. 85? 85. 85. Yeah. So I started skating in six years later. But it had an impact. I got a board. I had I had that Volterra board. I got a Toys R Us probably, you mm -hmm. know, and I was butt boarding around, knee boarding, you mm -hmm. know. So it definitely influenced me and a whole generation of people for sure. But I don't consider it like my main. In, in, no, yeah, like yeah, I just yeah. got. I was stoked on skating and got the board. You know, Isn't it a video that was definitely like kind of? It was mentioned in here was useless wooden toys. Yeah, yeah, New yeah. New deal video that for me I think was a big impact just because I saw. Uh, again, I'm gonna bring up this dude, Nick Tancrater. He was from the valley. He mm. had a part in that video. So I was like, dude. Oh, this so you're dude, seeing like a local. Yeah, dude a local kind of dude. Like, and, wow, like, this is man. This could. Possibly happen. Shout out to my dude Ali Mills. He's in that video. He, he does the first ever Nolly Allie flip. Ali Mills. Ever, yes. He did the first ever Legend. Nolly flip ever on in a video. 
There you go. Yeah. So, and, like, imagine being able to f- doing a first, like, you're not saying generic trick these days to like, a lot of people. Day one song. Yeah. First person <clears throat> hard... to do a hard flip in a video. Yeah, Love yeah. child. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's whole. <laughs> no, I don't think it's hilarious, but I think it's funny in a way how you could you can kind of understand someone a little bit by seeing what their favorite video skate video is mm-hmm. or what they grew up watching. Mm-hmm. I remember meeting some kid. He's like, "Oh, my favorite video is Globe Opinion," and I was like, "Oh." <clears throat> I kind of under I don't under I never really watched that video <laughs> as a kid, yeah. but like I kind of understand where you came from. Right, I'm like you from Canada? He's like, yep. I'm like, I don't know. Uh, and no, the reason why I said that is uh, the Dark Star video, Battalion. Hmm. I was like, oh, okay. Like I don't I don't know. It's it's funny when you see yeah, people with their favorite videos now, all day. <clears throat> this is useless when in toys. This is 1990. So good, bro. But yes, Brad Grant said, ban this, uses wooden toys, mm-hmm. video days, questionable, virtual. And we just pulled a couple of whatever people's uh, responses on our Instagram and on our YouTube channel members. And I'm not, spots. excuse me, not channel member. Yeah. YouTube channel, uh, what is it called, Raj? Qu- community posts. Community posts. And all these spots, like that Pioneer spot with the banks and stuff and the hit, I mean, damn. we're like, man, I'm going to go there one day. And then sure enough, we find out where it's at mm-hmm. and we go. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. That was like, half the adventure. Yes. That, that was, was half like, the adventure. Kelly, have you never seen this? Yeah, no, dude, this, I don't think bro, I've seen this. Bro, this shit is so <clears throat> innovating at this time in 90, like, 1990, yes. yeah. Turn the volume up. Uh, and the music, and the music what, is actually what, pretty what, good. What, I wouldn't, uh, I think no, don't, don't do it. Uh, is Armando Barra? He, I, I think this might. I don't know if he's in this one. Unless I'm tripping. Armando in here. He is it. He yeah. is right. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's Huntington High yeah. right there. Isn't that Huntington High? I don't know. It's a long video. Yeah, though. like it's about the, the look at no, no slide with bro. no with no nose basically. Yes. And wow. to do a video and I mean this was an it's an hour long video. Yeah. All these over. Ed Templeton motorcycle killing the game at that time, bro. Hey, what, dude? Game, that was too. insane. A lot of, yeah. Front three tricks. shove? A lot of mm-hmm. epic tricks being done. Yeah. Henry Sanchez said, yeah, right. Little Revolution commented. Hey. Shout out to Wee Man and uh, Poncho. They said, they, they, they said questionable for hey. them. That's awesome. Yeah. There it is. Um, there it is right there, Kelly. <laughs> hey, go, go back that one. <laughs> What is, it? What's, what is this, Chris? Hold on. Let's see. That's right a, here. Well, obviously, he's coming from the back. So I've come, backside. backside. <laughs> but what's, how is he grinding? Backside. Like a backside nose grind? He was. Yeah, Just yeah, like yeah. Yeah. Because he was a backside nose grind. Yeah. Guess what? Because he was grinding on the inside. He was. Yep. You guys are tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Every, time Pam, I I Every time I smell pine trees, y'all tripping. Yeah, <laughs> tri- <laughs> a lot of good ones, though. I mean, Paul Zitzer, Eastern Exposure 3. That's what he said. Tim and Henry's was not yeah. mentioned in there, and I Tim, think it should have. Somebody said it. Yeah, Tim, yeah. Josh Kaler right, right here. Right here. Hey, there you go. Yeah, there you go, Bro, Josh. Tim and Henry's. Straight up. That I watched that video so that, many times. That was a game chamber for when it definitely when that came out. That had people bugging. Orale Hardware said that on Instagram. Tim and Henry's. There you go. I'm sure other people did too. Again, we just took a couple couple things out of it that we that we saw but um and that was just like a promo video kind of right that was was, just a random promo video promo video it had rudy guy um brian Brian lottie Lottie, in the beginning oh so good that's here look at this little here this is the intro to this i'll just show the first like four or five tricks that no slide psycho oh this is good look at this oh brian lottie dude Dude, come on. Look this? at this. Oh. Talk about changing the game. Woo. Switch tray. Mm-hmm. Molly Heel. Come Curry. on, man. Rudy Johnson. The switch devil. Yep. Damn, no push on our switch front. Now he doesn't on this one. Uh. It definitely was. This really shit good. Was so good, and then the music too. Yes, for both parts. Yes, phenomenal. Tim Gavin, yeah, shorts, kill. It's such a good style. UMCs, man. it was perfect, bro. Anyway, go check out Tim and Henry's. You got to watch the whole video just to do it justice. But yeah, it's interesting to see what people think is influential. Yeah. Um, because again, I think a lot of these people were were talking about for themselves mm-hmm. and not skateboarding as a whole. Which is fine. 
I wonder if Which like it'd be curious to hear because we've hear we keep seeing all these older videos or ones Shorties. from 2010 ish or whatever. What about ones that are coming out now? But that's what I'm saying though. Yeah. Uh, is there any influential videos that are coming out in the last five years? Let's say I, I, we always talk about the Godspeed that came out and like that has you the know most what? views. I, I, like I think it did. Like younger generation kids did see that as like a, a like a, that's an amazing video. You know what I, I mean? think if you're going to say about any video that that will be at the top of the list, I yeah. think for the moment in that time and getting a million views in a day or whatever, it got million views. That that's. Uh, I don't know charge. if it's like influential, but it's definitely fucking impressive. Well, it's influ <laughs> to these kids. It's obviously influential. Yeah, I guess, yeah it is. Like, like yeah, they're so seeing that's that. Is there videos yeah. that are coming out in the last five? I'm saying five years because we got to put a cap on it. Some some point, but is there any videos that came out that actually just changed the direction? Of that's like what, what I'm saying. Like, on. there's so many videos. There's a few videos in the history that changed the direction of skateboarding. We mentioned Fully Flared. We mentioned Cherry. But, Cherry, I think the Supreme video came out. And I think that, like, that people changed, were that started. That, that started. Yeah, yeah people were sure. psyched on that. Like, For Supreme sure. videos kind of would hit pretty hard. For sure. Yeah. I think that probably was the change in, in yeah, and where we are in skateboarding in that sense. Somebody, a Ride Free or Die 831 on YouTube said, Tilt Mode videos brought back the Ooh. fun in pro skateboarding. Yeah. That and one. and then uh, Ashley Brown uh, below that commented, uh, Man Down is the most enjoyable skate video ever. Chomp dude. on this. Chomp on. Dude. Let's, you know what, let's go back to. You know what I didn't, not to cut you off. Yeah. What I didn't see on there was Falling Down. And Eric Costin's mm. part in Falling Down was insane true true dun, 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 oh, dun, dun, dun. oh yeah. gangstar song gangstar. bro yeah i never i will duke you dead wrong bro mm, that shit really i had that shit on replay for days yeah i would say till mode till videos mode, bro yeah they brought different thing to skateboarding at yes. that time yes everything was starting to get really too serious you know there was yeah. starting to be like really all right, we're making this video. We're getting the fucking generators out and all that yeah. stuff. And then that came along. Bro. Mark Johnson, Louis Barletta, all these, all the crew was just having fun partying, but also like doing funny skits just while they're skating. And also right. skating really, really well. Yeah. Like it was, it had everything. Those videos had everything. Totally. They were the full, full package. I did see Chomp on this in there a few times. Mm. I was like, wow. Okay. okay. Chomp, okay. Chomp was another again, one. having fun. Yeah, exactly. Everyone having fun. Yeah. yeah. Damon Way. Danny Way's brother, very talented man, also said, uh, definitely subjective to the era one would, oh, definitely subjective to the era of one one would come up in. For the older generation, H Street, Shackle Me Not, Blind Video Days, Plan B, Virtual Reality. Later years, I would have to say Supreme Cherry mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, was very impactful. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. He's yeah. got his ear. He's got his ear to the to the yeah, to the yeah. streets, man. I like that. He's paying attention. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right. Though we have to speak on. Yeah, right. Henry Sanchez said, "Yeah, right." Yeah, that was his. That was huge. That was his guest, Jay Burns, it's a big one, bro. said, "Yeah, right." It was funny that I guess um, there was certain Costin always made these tricks that then everyone was like, "I need to do that trick." You know what I mean? Like now he have no side and chocolate to her. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like. I need to learn knowledge of no side. Yeah, uh, I mean that's because I that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, but like he was always one step. Costin throughout his whole career, maybe not now, but like doing tricks that no one has ever done. Yeah. Every, oh yeah. Every single video like that, right? Yeah. You could well, never have a Costin part without having that. But that's why okay. he's the goat because yeah. every last trick that he had was just whoa, mind blowing. Didn't oh, see dude. it coming. Didn't yeah. see it coming. No. Switch tray. Uh, excuse me. Tray, yeah, tray, tray flip, flip nose blunt yeah. on the rail. Yeah, Nolly Hill like, nose. We all know that story. Even it was the like nose last slide, minute, right? He went up that the, night. Yeah. yeah, and then had to fucking turn in the video that next. Even day. the nose slide around the the Philly down the oh, yeah. during an X Games. <clears throat> oh yeah, during the rail. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 to so me, so that's when the the trucker hat came back pretty hard. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, he was running that. That's, that's truck. He was running. I remember seeing that in that video. But one video that didn't. Go ahead. Is PJ Ladd's one of her whole life when that oh, when that oh, drops? Oh, oh. I would say, like the video all together was just like a cool video, and you got to see like there was a cast of like Ryan Gallant, like whoa, that that dude's fucking good. Jeremy Rogers, like everyone's like, mm -hmm. but PJ, he kind of like that dude alone just kind of changed skateboarding in a way. In a way, I think when that part came out, I don't yeah, think it, I would I would agree. Yeah, I would agree. I think people were all. I think people were just tripping the hell out. Yeah. They were just like, the whole industry was like, 
<laughs> what? What did we just watch? Yeah. This is crazy. I, I where did this come from? This is a skate shop video from Boston. Yeah. This isn't like this big time video. Yeah. Like a skateboard shop in Boston <laughs> went worldwide <laughs> with their video. When does that happen? Not dude? like not just when like, do skate yeah. shops go bonkers worldwide video drops? Never. And not Supreme. just on you. Okay. No, but like still, that like you can buy it on the internet. This was getting sold, distributed all over the yes. world through a VHS tape. Yes. Like exactly. That's wild, dude. So, and I, I I remember that video coming out, and everyone just kind of switching a little. Not everyone. Are, yeah, I mean, people but, were tripping out. Yeah. That's uh, man. That's a good time. Hey, I think it's birthday today. Shout out to PJ Lad. Happy man. birthday, PJ. Happy birthday. He's still. F I saw him skating the manual pad spot recently. Just doing fucked up shit. T Killer ninety two. Oh, I yeah. think you are correct. Alexis has blown people sleep on that part. Hundred percent. Yeah, she has a crazy part in that video. That too. part is sick. Yeah, it was her first kind of like debut. That was dude. Yeah, a lot she's of people been in the game for a minute, and she's still fucking shit up. She's amazing, bro. She's awesome, man. But yeah, I think it is definitely subjective to the era that somebody would come up in of their what the most influential video is. For sure. I don't think there's a right answer, but I think there's a there's a definitely consensus. Yeah, yeah. Of Did you talk what about videos. what Chat GPT said? Oh, that's right. <laughs> So we're gonna give you a little breakdown. Yeah, we we, we asked Chat GPT just in case, you know. Determining so what is the most influential skate video of all time? Chat GPT responded. This is artificial intelligence, people. If you go if you're if you're I've been hiding under a rock. It's you know? here. It's here in a in a in a real way. Determining this is what Chat GPT said. Determining the most influential skate video is subjective and could be and can, and can vary based on personal preference and opinions within the skateboarding community. Yeah. However, there are some videos that are widely recognized for their impact on the skateboarding culture. Here's a list of 10 influential skate videos in no particular order. <laughs> Video Days, Boom. that at number one, 1991. Search for Animal Chin, Boom. 1990, uh, excuse me, 1987. Sorry, Boom. okay. Flip Video. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people said sorry. Worthy. And we apologize. We say sorry to not mention that, but 100%. I think sorry's up in there. Yep. I think they're in that list. Worthy. 100%. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fully flared, 2007. Plan B questionable, 1992. Yeah, right, 2003. Eastern Exposure 3, Underachievers. Oh, wow. Right. Chat GPT picked it. Yeah. <laughs> Eastern <laughs> Exposure so 3. Can you that's, believe that? That's hey. hard. Chomp on this. Photosynthesis, and then number 10 is zero misled youth. Wow. That's what ChatGPT said. That. And it rounded up the thing saying, these videos represent a mix of different eras and styles within skateboarding. And each has contributed to the evolution of skate videos as an art form. Keep in mind that opinions on most influential videos may <laughs> vary among individuals in the skateboarding community. Uh, a little yes. disclaimer at the end. Yeah, ChatGPT is <laughs> throwing a little disclaimer. Yeah. You know? As it should. No, I, that, hey, it's it's accurate. You know what it's I mean? Crazy, it does bro. say it very well. How crazy is that? Artificial intelligence knows about skateboarding. We yeah. are we are in a very weird time with that, man. 